Hey internet friends, this is Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions. I'm sharing another X11 new feature that uh, I'm working at Starbucks right now and just blew my mind uh, about pocket doors. Let's get started. So I just dropped in a pocket door on this plan I'm working on and I, I've set up this um, just it's a blank plan and, and made the wall extra wide eight inches wide uh, for illustration purposes i'm going to set up this pocket door and notice that we now have the pocket door trim um, being broken for the door to pass through right in plan view that's fantastic but look what else we've got i've got the um, hollow space for the pocket door to travel. So no matter whether I put this pocket door at, uh, say, you know, 50% or 25%, that hollow space for the door remains the same. You hunt back at 100%, now the door leaf just travels all the way back through there. Fantastic, right? But watch this too. We also have this sliding doors option um, for offset from wall. And let's say I want to offset this one inch from the wall. Or I'm gonna I'm gonna do this uh, half an inch. Uh, one and a half inch. There you go. So you can offset it toward one side or the other. And not only that, then I can flip it from one side to the other. I'm going to turn off the uh, temporary dimension so we can see easier. See how that flips there? So I can drag this just like a hinge door. I could drag it from one side to the other or just flip it with our child tools. There's insufficient room on that side. Let's make this wall. Just if I want to offset uh, zero, now it's going to be centered on the wall. Offset that two inches here. So that's off, when it says offset from wall, it's offsetting it from the, from the default location, which is the center of the wall. But um, so we can we can see it. Say that you had a really thick wall, and um, just wanted to show it, you know, toward justified toward one side or the other. You can now do that in X11. There you go. Control of the uh, pocket doors. I imagine. Now that I think about that, let's, uh, let's make this a sliding door. Let's say uh, 48. And if you wanted to offset that from the wall two inches, ah, you can do the same thing there. I wonder if you can do that with a barn door as well. Set from the wall two inches. Yeah, there you go. So any of the sliding doors, you can you can adjust that from its standard, whether that's centered on the wall for the sliding doors, bypass sliding doors, pocket door, or off of the wall itself with your barn door situation. Hey, there you go. Offset from wall in sliding doors uh, just made me excited, so I had to share it with you. Hope this has been helpful. You've learned something new. Leave a thumbs up. Uh, click subscribe. Follow me on my website. And uh, I'll catch you later. Take care.